All right, I got the new plow for my Ranger full size in yesterday. Uh, it is Thursday, November 17th, something like that, 2016. It's supposed to snow this Sunday. Maybe it's 18th, I don't know, something like that. Uh, it's supposed to snow this Sunday, so I am going to go ahead and get this installed right now. Um, I'm just going to open it up. Uh, since I have the Ranger full size with the round bars, um, everything is a challenge to get for this. I don't even know if I'm on the camera. Everything's a challenge to get for this, uh, to get the right stuff for this. Because, I don't know, it's kind of a like one off. Um, it's not the XP, it's not the. Um, mid-size apparently this isn't the most popular model in the world I don't know I thought it was a good deal so I bought it but, uh, yeah I, I bought it off of eBay for $540 and it said fits the 570 full size 2015 and 2016 so uh, I won the bid on eBay and I contacted Moto Alliance immediately and said, you know, I have the round bar ranger. I wanted to make sure this was going to work and they said, nope, that's the wrong one, but uh, we will send you the right uh, mount for it. As far as the plow and the, um, and the push bar, they are all the same. What differs is the mount. So, um, I got the mount for the correct mount for the 2016 Ranger. I have a hair pillow. Full size, I'm using a baby girl. I have a hair pillow. What are you going to talk I about? I have to take a picture of baby girl. Go inside and get your, your, uh, your phone. Okay. So, what we have here, this is the mount for the Ranger. It mounts the three bottom, and then I don't know if it mounts. To a hole or two down there. Um, we'll look later. This video is just on the layout or what, what came with it. And then some individual pieces. Make sure I'll have to figure out where those go. instructions here that came with it are labeled for Ranger midsize which um, I don't know maybe the Ranger midsize and the Ranger full size use the same mount now I don't know exactly but I will find out so um, it doesn't look that hard to put on uh, three bolts at the bottom a bolt on each top and then three at the bottom underneath so shouldn't be too bad that and then open up. Oh man, is this heavy? The lift arms. Okay. I need to do it right now. 
right now. You're so busy. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Don't touch it. So we got this piece, which is the push tube. There's a whole bunch of pieces to this. What? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the camera, baby girl. I need that. I need it. You don't need it. One left. Don't yell at me. One. One left. No. This, two of these brackets, and this. Real? Go get your tablet or your your phone. It should be charged up by now. This will be for the angle adjustment. Some pins and washers that actually mount the mount to the push tube. A bag of bolts, two eye bolts. with this piece which appears more complicated than the rest of them or than the mount Took the uh, top off of the off the plow here. Yeah, I just got this. They're so cute. So cute. Lego pink. <laughs> oh my god. comes with two, um, two scraper blades, which is nice. Uh, there's another video I watched before I bought this and uh, on, online. And I commented on the guy's video and I asked him um, what he thought of it. He said he liked it and that he had put 42 miles on his plow on one in one day. And he said it did wear down the wear bar a little bit, but um, you know that's that's what it's for really. Uh, but they provide you with two, so I don't plan on putting 42 miles on this, uh, probably all winter. So that should last a long time, and if I have to buy another one, um, or make one, I can. It's just a, a piece of steel stock. So that shouldn't be a big deal at all. You can make bolts for it, though. I hate styrofoam also, all over my garage now. I'm going to have to delete it back out. Clean this up after I'm done. What do you need a napkin for? Because I have to do something with my baby. Or she. Why don't you have shoes on, Luke? Uh, 
So two mounts that are for these. These are for gravel driveways. If you're plowing a gravel driveway, you can set these so the plow will be um, like a half inch above um, the this. Um, I don't know what exactly these are called. But so the plow will sit a half inch above and then you won't take all of your gravel off the gravel driveway. In my case, I won't be using these. These will be tucked up under. Um, I won't need them because uh, I don't have a gravel driveway. Those are called skid feet. This has a three-year warranty also, so um, for $540, it was the cheapest plow I could find, and comes with a three-year warranty, two wear bars, the whole mount, everything, everything said and done, $540, shipped to my door for free. How do you go wrong with that? Uh, okay, so I guess I'm going to start by building that, build this uh, plow, and then I will mount that. And then we'll see how uh, how it goes. Since this doesn't have any directions, this is probably going to be the hardest one to build. Still, don't know where. 